Hello friends, in this video I'm going to create roles and create a user as admin and attach the role admin to this user. And this is going to be with uh, Laravel Seeder. We can do with uh, Laravel Tinker, so we, we can open the Tinker and create uh, roles and create also the user and attach the role to the user, but I think it's more useful so we can create that uh, seeder for roles and seeder for the admin and we can run the php artisan migrate dash dash seed and also is going to create the migration and also the user with the roles and with the role admin attached or with two roles attached we can see so for that if i open the project Mm, sorry, here I'm going to open with a VS Code. And in the database seeder, we in the public function run, we don't have, we don't do anything right now because we have this uh, factory which is uh, commented. I'm going to create two seeders right now. So let's open the terminal and say artisan or PHP artisan if you want. So PHP artisan make seeder and I'm going to say a role seeder and one for the admin. Admin seeder. Okay, and in the role seeder now I'm here. I'm going to create uh, three roles, and let's go to the Laravel permission package. In the basic usage, here we can we have the example how we can uh, create roles, role create, and the name we want. We need to import this role spotty permission models role so let's copy this one go to the seeder and paste that in now we need to import the role and import the spotty permission models roles not the contracts role the models role and i'm going to copy this and say one for the admin and one for the user the first one is going to be admin, the second writer, and the last one is going to be user. Save this and open the admin seeder. Here now I'm going to create the admin user. So I'm going to say user and import the model user up here and say uh, create and I'm going to copy what we have in the migration for the to be more to save some time and paste that in remove this and add it here I'm going to remove the remember token this password is hash password for the password word. I'm going to add this as is and in the name now we need to say a string. I'm going to name it admin. And for the email I'm going to say uh, admin admin.com and I name it admin because we have the admin here, but you can say uh, gmail.com or what you want. Save this, uh, but before this, I'm going to say here dollar sign user and assign, and after say dollar sign user and assign the role. And if you go to the using permission via roles, here is how we can assign a role to the user. So dot assign user and assign a role and the name we want, or we can assign two roles 
or as an array as many rows as we want. So let's copy this one and paste it here. Okay, save and go to the terminal and say artisan migrate fresh dash dash seed. And right now, uh, if I open the table or the escalate ice and uh, see the admin roles and user, we don't have anything because we need to call these two seeders inside the database seeder. And come here and say dollar sign this call and say a role seeder class and also dollar sign this call and call the admin seeder and with that now if I run again the migrate seed database seed and here we have we seed in the role seeder and also the admin seeder and if i refresh now the database yeah we have three roles we have a user with name admin and admin gmail.com and in the model has roles we have assigned the role with id 1 and 2 to the user with id one which is this the first one and the roles with id one and two is admin and writer let's go to the our project admin so go and login and what we have here we have uh, admin gmail.com and the password is password so admin gmail.com and say password here and login and we are logged in as admin okay friends also we can do this so in the admin seeder instead of saying this we can assign the role directly in here and save and if I run again and refresh we have the same thing okay if you like this like this is okay so that's it for this video friends how we can create the roles and create the admin user and give it the role assign the role admin or admin and writer hope you enjoy and see you in the next video friends all the best